What's up, Synthaholics? I'm Stephen Learson, and welcome to another edition of Synthesizer Show and Tell. Each episode features one synth from my collection, where I share some tips and tricks and make some original music highlighting the features of the instrument. I've been waiting for months to get this synth into my studio. Please give a warm welcome to the Behringer MS-1 in red. Synthesizer maker and controversial bad boy Yuli Beringer has made yet another clone. This time it's of the Roland SH-101. So I know there are quite a few videos on the MS-1 on the interwebs by now, so I won't be going over the synth feature by feature, but what I thought I'd do is just show you a couple ways I think it stands out, maybe a little light criticism, and then I'll just try and play some cool sounds. Most of the controls are sliders, and I really like that. That's my preference. I guess I'm a slider guy. But I like it because you can manipulate multiple parameters at once, and even if you were in a dark club or blindfolded for some reason, you can kind of feel on the synth where you are. So I opted for the version in red, and I have to say it's really a pleasant tone of red. It's not fire engine red like all those Nord keyboards. <clears throat> all the knobs feel pretty sturdy, although I have to say the pitch and mod toggle seems a little flimsy, like it might break if I caught my shirt sleeve on it. One new feature that wasn't included on the original SH-101 is the triangle wave, and I'm glad they put it in because it sounds really, really Good. Included in the box with the synth are some strap pegs and a hand controller, so you can play it like a keytar. But unfortunately, unlike the original, the MS-1 does not run on batteries. Kind of... Dum 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 dum. It's real easy to make some great drum sounds real quickly. Just close up the envelope, turn up the res, and start pumping. Some 
zappy hi-hat. Let's make a snare. So I was trying to make a tom sound, and then I found this. Messing around with the MS-1 is going to draw you in. You'll be making outer space sounds for hours and not realize any time has passed. that's the MS-1. It will definitely take you into outer space. I can tell I got to keep it close by because it will be my go-to synth for years to come. And I just like to add, Behringer is not paying me to make this video. Uh, nobody pays me to do this stuff. I just kind of do it because I love synthesizers so much. So I'd like to say thanks for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe, ring that notification bell, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll try and come back for you every Monday with some fresh, geeky synth stuff. All right, we'll see you next time.